Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out for the very first time the new Tarte Shape Tape Loose Powder. I know, it's brand new. If you haven't heard about it, don't worry because I have no idea about it either. They never even mentioned it. At least I never saw it. I never saw it on their Instagram. I never saw any looks, videos, nothing that it was. they were coming out with something like this. So I feel like it was very sneaky of them and uh, I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I mean, it's kind of good because, you know, usually they hype it up so much before something is out, but this time I didn't even know about it until it was on the website. Right now, I already have my foundation and I use the Tarte Shape Tape Double Duty Foundation. I wanted to try it out with the Tarte product. And then for concealer today, I am using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer just because I feel like my Tarte Shape Tape is really, really light right now. It is way too white for me. And yeah, I like to highlight my under eyes, but not that much. Like, it just looks really light right now. So this one is a better shade for me. This one is in the color Nude. So now it's the step for the Tarte Shape Tape loose powder and I'm gonna do baking on my nose as well as my under eyes and I'm pretty much gonna apply it all over my face because I'm gonna set my entire foundation with it they have two shades this one is the universal translucent and then they also have a deeper tone if you want to try that one out so this is the packaging right here it looks nice I mean it's it's normal it's normal and then inside it does have a mirror right there I'm surprised I didn't know it was gonna come with this little sponge but it does it's pretty soft I probably won't be using that today but this is the way that the product looks and it also has a little sticker in there so I'm about to take that off so I did see that it comes with a little little net in there a little mesh little thing and supposedly it's so that way it doesn't get super messy so there it is right there yeah, it kind of has it like the Becca, the hydrating, the Hydra Mist. Is that what it's called? The Hydra? Something. The one that feels a little wet on the under eyes. It's kind of like that. So I'm going to apply it with my Beauty Blender. I'm just going to stick it in there. Hmm. I don't know if I like that for baking because I don't feel like I can grab a lot of product. And for baking, you kind of need a lot more product than this, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to place it. Well, even though I didn't grab a lot of product, I still feel like it really set it, so maybe, maybe I'm just overdoing it with so much product for baking. But it feels really smooth. I mean, I can't even see it now that I have it on. I'm going to go ahead and apply it all over my nose because I do like to bake my nose. I feel like my makeup lasts a long better, a long better. I feel like my makeup lasts a lot longer because I wear glasses. So yeah, I mean, looks like any other regular translucent powder. I feel like I can't grab that much. So I don't know if I'm like kind of baking. It's more like just setting it pretty much. All right, so let me apply it on my chin. So I'm just going to leave it just for a little while. I'm actually going to stick my brush in there because I want to set my foundation. Okay, so I feel like it works a little better with the brush because the brush is really getting into the little holes. Yeah, that mirror right there is not a good idea. Because look, the powder on the mirror. So I don't know. I don't know what they thought, you know, that was going to be good for. But I, I'm not going to use the mirror in this little powder, you know. It looks really smooth though. So I'm guessing you're supposed to like keep the sponge in there so that we don't get the mirror dirty, but the mirror is completely full of powder now. So I don't think that mirror works very well for anything. I mean, yeah, it's a nice little compact, but it's full of powder now, so I really can't use it. I'm gonna leave it on there for a little while. It looks really smooth on my face. It feels light. It feels like it's really setting my foundation. But the only thing is that I didn't use that much of it because you can't really get it out with with the beauty blender it's like you only get like these little dots on there it does feel light it doesn't feel thick it feels like a really fine loose powder so i'm just gonna give it a little bit so i do want to read to you what it says on the website by the way the powder is 34 dollars and like i said there are two shades the one that i have is the translucent universal shade and then they also have a deeper one and it is just called deep all right, so I mean, just from what we know and from what we see all the time, whenever you bake, you do apply a 
a generous amount, let's just say that, a generous amount of powder so that way it can stay there, it can like bake your face for a little while and then you remove the excess, whatever is left. So it is intended for baking and setting your makeup so it lasts all day while preventing flashback and we are going to do a flashback test and the puff is included for on the go application. I probably won't be using the little puff but you know it's in there so the powder is supposed to be mattifying it's also going to absorb oil so i'm guessing if you take it with you you know it'll help you with that like any other powder will it absorbs oil and then it's supposed to shape and bake your makeup also it helps diffuse light to make skin look radiant while preventing flashback in photos it also helps blur the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and i have to say that it does look really really smooth on my under eyes like it does look nice Netted Sifter dispenses the perfect amount of Amazonian clay powder formula which adjusts to your complexion's need adding moisture to dry patches and mattifying oil. So vegan, cruelty free and dermatologist tested. So the, what do they call it? They call it the Netted Sifter dispenses the perfect amount of product which I agree it does it does give you a nice amount of product like a normal amount of product but if you really want to do baking like where you apply a lot of product you can't really get it out I'm just letting you know that if you love to do that you probably won't be able to with this little net you might have to cut it open or something so okay so now I have it all over my face and I did set the rest of my makeup what I'm gonna do is clean up the edges of my bronzer because I did apply a liquid bronzer and I kind of want to clean that up so I'm gonna grab a little bit more because I didn't do that earlier so I'm just gonna I'm gonna bounce it in there so that way I can try to get more product so I've had it on for a little while for a long while actually I'm gonna go ahead and take off the the under eye area let me take this off I guess this one had a little bit more so I guess if you bounce it into the little net it gives you a little bit more product but it's not that much okay so I finished the rest of my makeup I looked at some of the footage already I went outside I went to go look at my makeup just the way that it looked all together and I also went ahead and I took the with and without flash pictures so I'm gonna go ahead and show you two pictures just in case you didn't know this is a big window so I left it open for one of the pictures so that way I could just see how it would look I closed all the other blinds I turned off all the lights I turned off my ring light and I took a flash picture with it and this backlight is still on or open so I was like okay let me close this window so that we can get even darker and it can be more of a nighttime type of picture so I closed the blinds and now it was completely completely dark in here the ring light was obviously off and I took it with the flash and also it looks nice from far away but now look at it closer like my nose looks completely dry around my mouth it looks completely dry now I I do want to say that it looks better on the areas that I didn't bake but even on those areas my skin looks pretty dry and I'm just not I don't know I just don't like it like I have other powders that don't do that so I don't know why it looks like this but it does and also the areas where I used it for baking it looks even drier like it looks it kind of looks just a little bit too dry for my skin um, I won't say that it's like the worst powder because it's not I just feel like maybe with my skin type it just didn't work I have dry skin and but I do have other powders that I bake with like I do like to bake and I also bake around my nose because I wear glasses and it just looks so much better and it lasts so much longer I don't have like those marks on the side of my nose as much like super noticeable whenever I bake my nose so I, I do bake my under eye area as well as my nose and I do have other powders that look nice like the hourglass veil powder that one looks nice I also have the NYC smooth skin and that one is a drugstore powder and honestly that one looks great on my skin I also use it for baking and there are some powders that do work with dry skin I just would say that this one doesn't really um, I mean I love the idea that it is a shape tape type of it's part of the shape tape line so it does seem like it would be like awesome but I just don't feel like it worked with my skin and I don't feel like it's anything different I think I've said this about other setting powders it's pretty much similar yeah some can be a little bit more smooth or feel a little bit more fine but honestly I haven't seen a powder that's like oh my god drop everything this is the one that you're going to need 100% you know replace your favorite powder 
If, I, if you already have your favorite powder, I don't think you need to replace it with this one. I just feel like if you want to try out a new loose powder, go ahead and pick this one up. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it for today's review. I mean, it looks okay. It looks nice. It's not the best thing ever. I saw it outside and my face just pretty much looks kind of dry. I'm not really happy with it. I don't, I don't feel like I was expecting so much because, again, it's just a translucent powder. It's not like it's a foundation where I'm expecting coverage or I'm expecting this and that, you know? It's nothing like that. It's just the powder so there's not really much I can say that is bad from it it's just a regular loose powder I don't think you need it and yeah those are pretty much my thoughts I hope you enjoyed it if you are new here I hope you subscribe so that way you don't miss out on future uploads and you can continue to watch my other videos that I have coming up and I will see you guys in my next one bye I also have the NYC loose Ugh. skin smooth loose powder skin loose skin what is it called i also have the nyc loose skin powder 